Jamie Gorelick is Jared Kushner's attorney, also a former deputy attorney general during the Clinton administration. Ms. Gorelick, good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. Can, can Jared Kushner, who is a very successful businessman in a wide range of businesses from real estate to publishing, divest his direct interests in those businesses in time for next Friday? And can he also separate, him, separate himself from the appearance of links to businesses? He's going to do three things, Matt. He is going to step away from his businesses. He's going to extricate himself entirely. That's number one. Number two, he is going to divest of many, many of his assets. And number three, for assets that remain, he will follow the normal recusal procedures. And uh, those are the ones that have been followed by scores of people over decades of experience. Well, he's going to sell some of his interests to his brother. He's going to sell other interests and place it in a trust that's controlled by his mother. A prominent attorney who used to work for Senator Rand Paul, Matthew Sanderson, said, this sounds like a shell game. Why is because you're taking an asset and just moving it to a family member, why isn't it a shell game? Uh, f he's in a family business and consistent with the all of the federal rules one can sell interests to another family member he's not going to be a beneficiary of this trust he's not a contingent beneficiary of this trust we've discussed this with the office of government ethics i'm very comfortable that this arrangement is appropriate under the under the rules i mean the office of government ethics ha has given us advice and we followed it but there's also this question of nepotism. How do you get around that? There are very real concerns. The, our view is twofold. One, the anti-nepotism statute doesn't apply to the immediate office of the president, the so-called White House office, by its own terms. And number two, after the uh, anti-nepotism statute was passed in the late 60s, a decade later, Congress passed a law that said that the president can have total discretion over his immediate staff without regard to any other law, including the anti-nepotism law. And we have examples of this. I mean, and I think as a, I mean, I'm a Democrat. I, I think that a president should be able to get advice from the person he wants to get advice from. Yeah, Jamie, we had Andrew Card on the show not long ago. Uh, he was chief of staff for George W. Bush. He said when it comes to the staff closest to the president, that person should be able to speak truth to power, give an unvarnished opinion, and you should be able to fire that person. Doesn't that get complicated when that person is your son-in-law? That's between uh, Donald Trump and Jared Kushner. Uh, I, I believe a president should be able to get advice from whomever he or she wants. If Hillary Clinton had been elected and wanted to have uh, Chelsea and her immediate uh, staff giving her advice, I think that would have been right. Th this is the judgment that Congress made in 1978. It said that the White House office is the purview of the president. He can decide. She can decide. All right, Jamie Gorelick. Jamie, thank you very much. Thank you, Jamie. Happy to be here, Matt. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.